So what do you do to find the pH? Take the negative log of the concentration. So what's the pH? If I put a pH probe into this solution, pH probe in here, okay, what's the measurements going to be? 0.3. Questions? That's the pH, 0.3. So I put that probe in there, it should measure 0.3. Questions? So the very first problem is easy. <laughs> so now we move on and what we're going to do um, as we move on we're going to take and add so much of the base. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to add so much of this base in there and then we're going to have to find the new pH. Alright, so we're going to add um, we're going to add 10 milliliters. So it's going to go down to a little bit. Here. My eraser is racing. Okay. Okay. We so we add in 10 milliliters. Okay? So it goes in there. Now we're going to remeasure the pH. So what how do you think the pH changes? It's going to go up, down or stay the same. It's going to go up. Cuz you can put OHs in there. Okay? So this reaction that we're going to do is HCl plus NaOH, what do we get out? H2O plus... Yeah, well, and, you know, those would be basically spectator ions, but we're going to keep it all together. Okay. So it's just going to be NaCl, but they are spectator ions, and... So in the past, when we did this, we broke it down to net ionic, and we said H plus plus OH minus gives you H2O. You guys remember that? Okay. So these have no play in the reaction that NaCl has no play in it. And so we start off with this stuff here. Um, HCl is 0.5 molar. Okay, and we start out with. Um, 15 milliliters of it. Okay, we know that this concentration is 0.25 molarity, and in this case, how much did we add? 10 milliliters. Okay? So then what we're going to do, we're going to put I, C, E, E. I see. I see. I see. Okay? Now, in the past, when we did equilibrium reactions, we had to make sure that molarity went in here. But we're going to calculate moles. And at the end, we'll, we'll re-plug in our molarity. So, how many moles of HCl do we have? Point zero zero seven five moles, right? Yeah. How much NaOH moles of NaOH did we add? So you'll get really good at these, especially after you know the original moles. Okay, of course, these would be, we don't care about water in NaCl. All we're cared about on the left side, that's all we care about. So we react them. Which one is limiting? NaOH is limiting. Does everybody see that NaOH is going to run out? So if it's limiting, what I can do is I can subtract out 
the point zero zero two five here and the point zero zero two five here. I can subtract those two out. Because yes, ma'am. Did you get point zero zero seven five moles? Point five times point zero one five. Wouldn't it be divided by? No, because molarity is moles over liters. And so to get rid of liters, you'd have to multiply by. Got it. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. It's been a while. So. This becomes 0 0.0050 moles of HCl remaining. This is zero. So we don't have any extra OHs. So it's still acidic. So then all we need to do down here is this one hinges our molarity. And so we just take 0 0.005 moles divided by the total volume. So what's the total volume? 25 milliliters. 25 milliliters. So this would be point. 025 liters. So then we get an answer out when we do that that I believe is 0.2 molarity, right? Log that number, that's your new pH. And that is equal to what? Point, seven. Point what? Point seven. Point seven. Not much change, is it? You're going to find with, with a strong acid neutralized with a strong base, there's not very much change up until it's neutral. That's why it goes pink to that darker shade of maroon. It goes pink. And then boom, right away it's a base. So it's a quick transition. And we don't see much of a change in the pH through this whole process until we get really, really close to neutral. Because it'll eventually get to 7 neutral. When will it get 7? What do we know about these two that we know, we don't even have to do a calculation because we know it's going to be pH of 7. Then when they're equal. When these two are equal. That means it's perfect combination of acid and base, and the color would be pink. Okay? So questions on that. So I'm going to have you do the next one on your own just to see how it would work. Okay? But the next one, um, we're going to add 20 milliliters. So the next one that we'll do the next one we'll do is we'll add 20 so again we have the point concentration of that would be point five zero molarity we have 15 milliliters, and now we're going to add 20 milliliters of 0.25 molar. So go down through and see if you can uh, figure that one out, what the pH is after we add 20. I think I'm going to have you guys today, because I think once we run through these transitions, we'll be done at 1.30. And then I'm going to have you guys do some titration, get the pH probes out. I'll show you how to calibrate them. Have you titrate an acid and base and just do a couple of them today. Because I, I think that'll work out. And then tomorrow I'll show you a weak acid, or yeah, weak acid, strong base. That'll take a lot of the period. Then on Wednesday you can retake your test.
Thursday, you can do titration. Fridays, nobody going to be here. So, And that's how we're working. Okay, so I think I have base made up. I have acid made up. You guys can get the pH probes out. They're all, we used them in another class, so they're already kind of out. You guys will have to calibrate those. Those are pretty easy to calibrate. We'll have you just go through a titration process and see how the calculations work. And if I was smart, which maybe I can be smart, to give you the 0.5 molar here, but the 0.25 molar I won't be able to give you. That's the only thing I won't be able to make that up. I have 0.20 molar. But it'll be real. It'll be real similar to, to this. Okay. So I'll write down what I have, and then you guys will have yours, and we can compare. You guys get something like that, or? Yeah, Does that make sense? Really, you guys are, what you're doing, this is staying the same all the time. The acid stays the same all the time, and then what you're doing is you're just figuring out the moles of base that you're adding, and you subtract it from the acid. You should have some acid left over until it gets to neutral. So then that would be the pH. Suppose, man, it's really changing, right? <laughs> point 0.3, we go up to point 0.7, to 1.15, whoop de doo right? Okay? Now, this one here, I'm going to have you put in to your stuff. So this is still 15 milliliters. Of uh, 0.5 molarity. I'm going to have you put in of the 0.25 molarity. I'm going to have you put 29.8 milliliters in. What's up with that? 29.8. That still says in the HCL so 0.5, right? Everything in the HCL is the same. That's constant throughout the whole experiment. So go ahead and put 29.8 milliliters in. I guess I'm doing that. I'm going to get my acid base. Is that No, it's the same. 0.5 molar, 15, it's the same all the way. So just refer, if you can't read these, because they're together, just... 29.8. So that's... So, 0 0.0075. Okay, over here, this is what? 0 0.007... Four five yes. moles. So we subtract point zero zero seven four five. Here we do the same. Uh, we're still not basic because that's zero. Here it's point zero 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 five, right? Mm -hmm. So you take point zero 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 five <laughs> divided by the total, which is. Um, oh, Point zero four four eight. 
Okay, you get an answer. What's the answer on that one? 0 0.00112. 0 0.00112? Yeah. Gosh, dang it. Molarity, you log it, the pH is? 2.95. 2.95. Yeah. Okay, so the nice thing about this, the next one is super easy. We're going to put in 30. We put in 30. Why are we going up by so low? Huh? That's a good question. She's asking... Nolan's asking, why does, why is it, you put in so much and it's going up little amounts, it's because there's lots and lots of OHs in there, or I'm sorry, there's lots and lots of H pluses in there that need to be, need to be neutralized. So even if we get really, really close to neutralization, there's still lots of moles of hydrogen and ions in there until... You get to neutral. So is our goal to go to neutral? Well, and we're going to go beyond neutral on one example. But so here's the next one. We we have 0.5 molarity. Uh, we we have 15 milliliters. We're going to put 30 milliliters in a 0.25. And if you're going to look at this, it's 0.0075. This is 0.0075. It's neutral. You don't do anything because you subtract out that from both of these situations and basically we have zero H's and zero OH's and you just have salt water. That's where it's pink. So look at that. You put in 0.2 milliliters from 29.8 to 30 and now it went from 2.95 to 7. So what a graph would look like when you would graph it out, it kind of goes like this, a little bit of pH here. You don't have to write this down. But it goes up a little at a time, and then all of a sudden it goes boom here because you go from like 2.95 and it goes up to 7. When you go from the 29.8 to 30 when you're at 7, you're at, you're at 8. Okay, last one. What happens when we go over? It's basic. Okay, so this one you want to be a little bit more detailed on because it's a little different than the previous three. So, not too bad, right? We go and figure out the moles of H plus left over and find the molarity and log it. Do that all the way through. We find it's neutral. Boom. We don't have to do anything. We don't even have to go back past step I because they're both limiting. We have a pH of 7. So then we have somebody that didn't do it right and they put in too much base. And when they put in too much base, then what's the solution going to be basic? Okay? So then we still have our same amount. We've got 0.5. Molarity, we got 15 milliliters of that, which is our 0.0075. Okay? So the NaOH, we went way past. We had 40 milliliters. Oh no. And this is 0.25. So how many moles extra did we add, or how much total did we add moles of NaOH? You should come up with 0 0.01. Okay. So now which one's limiting? HCl. HCl. So now you got to take this 0 0.0075 and subtract it out here. It runs out. Well, it could. OH can only react with whatever H is available, so this becomes minus 0 0.0075. So the ending amount of H is 0, the ending amount of OH is 0 0.0025. Correct? So we switched roles. Now we take the 0 0.0025 moles 
we divide it by the total volume, and the total volume is 0 0.055. <clears throat> liters, we come up with 0 0.045 molarity, and those are OHs. So I'm going to I'm going to show you. We're going to log that number, and it's going to give us what we call a POH. I didn't show you this on Friday. So let's take the negative log of 0 0.045 molarity, and that gives us what we call the POH because we're logging OHs. So when we do that, we get a number that is 1.3, I think. 1.35? Yeah. Okay. So we get POH is 1.35. Here's a neat thing with pH and POH. I'm going to give you an equation that you're going to use a lot. And this equation is this. 14 is equal to the pH in a solution plus the POH of that solution. So it kind of goes off of that. 1 times 10 to the minus 14 that we deal with when we take a look at KB and KA. But all we need to do is find the pH, and once we find the pOH, all we have to do is say, well, the pH plus 1.35 equals 14, so the pH equals what? 12.65. 12.65. And that's what the pH probe would read, 12.65. Now, here's, here's the deal. When you guys do these titrations, you got to realize the pH is super, super sensitive. It's, it's kind of like you put it in and the numbers are kind of just, they kind of move around and they don't really settle for a while. And all that all has to be off on the pH is a little bit. And you're going to be off from your calculations to what it is. So there's variables. Did I make up the 0.25 molarity correctly? One. Okay, because so there's air when I make when I make up solutions, there's gonna be a little bit of air because it's not gonna be perfect. I try to do the best I can with what I have. Okay? Here's another variable. The NaOH. Did I make up that correctly? So when you plug put it in there, you know, just is that really representative of it? It should be pretty close. And then when you're adding, and you don't stop right at 5 milliliters, and you put one or two drops extra or less, that's also going to have a play in your pH and seeing if it correlates or not. So at this time, you guys can just take a, take a piece of paper with you or take your notes to a lab station with a couple people. Get out. Um, get out a barrette. The base goes in the barrette. This is your acid. Just, just start with 10 milliliters like we always do. Pull up 10. Put it in a beaker. Don't put in any um, uh, indicator. Get a small, small beaker. Like 50 or 100. Okay? Or get 100. And because the pH probe needs to go in there to measure the pH, the pH. okay? So, Brett, fill it up with base to zero. Get, come up and pour some acid into a beaker, then you can pull it out on your own. Set it up to titrate. And then um, come over and get a pH probe and get a uh, lab quest so that you guys can measure pH. Um, the pH probes are here. Come and get. So I'm going to show you how to calibrate, but um, you'll have to plug it in. If everybody's ready together, we'll we'll get you to calibrate. Okay. 
Oh, Xavier. Oh, what's his last? I forgot his name. Smith. Great is Smith. Who? Where are you guys at? No. It's going to be on the other side of Matthew. It's smaller. How many else can you pay to grow? You need to go to the sensor. Okay, and the sensor is should show up pH um, probe. Okay, do you go down to calibrate? So go down to calibrate. And then hit pH, and it should say calibrate now. Okay? So you hit the calibrate now. Value 1. You put, you take this off, take the cap off, 
to expose the probe. And you put it in either the pH 10 or the pH 4 bottle at your desk. Put it in the 4 or 10. So at your desk you have two bottles. You have a pH 4 and pH 10. Doesn't matter the order you put them in. So put that right down in to, just put it right in there. Now, the live voltage will have to settle out, and then you can go ahead and press, um, put in the pH of 4 or 10, once it settles out. So if you got pH of 10, you'll write, you'll type in 10. If you got a pH of 4, you'll type in 4. Once it settles out, where it doesn't move anymore. We don't want to wait forever, so as long as it's not moving much, we're not going to be perfect today. So you just go ahead, once you do that, you go keep. Your second calibration point is the other solution. So you put it in, you had four, you put it in ten. Just kind of shake it off so it doesn't get in that other one. Put it in the other pH. Wait for the voltage to settle, and then press keep. Okay? So then, once you do those two, and it, it does, then you can press OK, and it should be calibrated and ready to go. So you guys can put it in your initial solution which is 0.25 molarity. Well with 0.25 what should it read? So you just log 0.25 and what what should it read? Like point something is what it's going to read. Should be around 0.6. Is it around 0.6? When you put it in there, in your original beaker, should be down below at least one. So once you put it in there. No, put it in here. It should read 0.6. What? You might have to tilt it so that it's in the solution. Matthews is reading 0 0.97. So this is point Yeah, it should be. I mean, mathematically, it should read a 0.6. We're double that. Yeah, so we should. Okay. Um. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go with what it's reading, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to put in five, I want you to put in five milliliters of acid, or five milliliters of base in your acid, and then calculate what it would be. So, put in five milliliters of base into your acid and then measure what that would be. Okay. 